What'd you say to him at halftime? Um, I was I was kind of happy. You know, I think we got down 23-15 and uh, kind of closed it out great. And uh, I, I thought our energy was good. We didn't we didn't do a good job when we substituted the first time. But uh, that's about 11 or 12 minutes. It's, as good as we could play, we were we were unselfish. We defended. Um, we just talked about just trying to match their energy because they played so hard, um, and I thought I thought we did. You got a lot of easy baskets. They come into the game. Offense, we've got kind of been challenged. Where did our offense come come from? No, we thought we could get easy baskets because they play passing lanes and they're athletic and they gamble a lot. They cause you to turn the ball over. You saw it late. I mean, they got us turning it over everywhere. But, you know, we said before the game we had to match their energy. We had to take care of the ball and take great shots. And uh, and, I, and I thought we did. Our two point guards had, you know, 17 assists. Um, that, was, that was pretty darn good. Problem for me is I remember the last five minutes. <laughs> no, um, but one thing I want to let you all aware of, um, the NCAA gave Marcus Kennedy kind of a waiver. His mom's been, she's in the service. She's going to the Middle East on a last tour before she retires. And they let us, let, let the NCAA let us fly him back, go to Philly. Um, I was going to tell him before, but Nick Moore told me not to tell him. He, he was focused on Memphis. Well. You know, he played great, um, and I'm happy he got that opportunity. And how important was this game after, you, you know, the loss in Tampa earlier, especially since you guys are probably, you know, looking at things like RPI and strength of who you end up winning and losing to? Well, I think everybody, you know, when you get into conference play, you got to realize everybody can beat you. We haven't gotten to that point yet. You know, it's one thing trying to beat a team that, People don't expect you to win, but it's another learning how to win on the road against the team that people expect you to win. I don't think we've grown to that point yet. It's still a work in progress, but everybody's looking at RPI and quality. Of game. You know, think about it. Memphis hadn't lost on the road. I think they had a 16 or 18 game winning streak against quality teams. And, you know, it's they've beaten some good teams. so. I think my, I, our goal was just to see how we would stack up against the quality team. You know, we didn't didn't get it done in Arkansas. You know, we didn't get it done at Cincinnati. We got it. We had a chance in that game as well as Arkansas. It didn't get it done in Louisville. You know, quality teams. You look at those kids. They expected to win. You know, we beat Connecticut here. And that was great. And now we got another quality win. Um, but. You know, it's a learning process. Our guys were up 25 acting like we won the NCAA tournament. My coach always told me, you know, you got to act like you've done it before. But, you know, we had a great atmosphere and, and you know, I think all of us were real proud of our team and I, I think I'm, we're all appreciative of the fact that we had the kind of support we had. How far are you from being a quality basketball team? Well, tonight we were, you know, against Connecticut we were. We've had times during the season we were great. We, we had Virginia beat, didn't execute down the stretch. We came back from dead against Arkansas, had a chance. We came back from dead against, you know, Louisville and Cincinnati. I think you showed me we can be a quality team. I don't, I'm not happy about being a quality team. Are you, you know, I want, to, I want us to be a national ranked team that expects to win, and then I think we'd be happy. Speaking of rank, you probably need <coughs> rank this week. That's, does that hurt or help the players as far as where you continue to go and grow? Oh, it helps. I'll tell you where this school is right now. We have a girl that works for us, you know, Lucy Brock, North Carolina girl. She works in our office. I said, Lucy, you come to the game tonight. Today, she said, I can't, I have a chapter meeting. Now, if you were at North Carolina or UCLA or Kansas, you would think they put that meeting off. 
So we will be a quality team when they cancel those chapter meetings. <laughs> Coach, Coach, what did you think about the home crowd today? Oh, that's great. <coughs> Students are amazing. I was a little ticked some of the season ticket all was left early. I, you know, I don't understand what it is to be a coach. You know, you don't you never leave early, but uh, our, our, the atmosphere in this building since day one has been remarkable. You know, the way the students have responded to our team and the fans, it's phenomenal. I mean, I don't think we beat Memphis, beat Connecticut without an environment like this. Now, Marcus, with 15 rebounds, 10 and 10 from the floor, can you talk about his performance, and especially coming off the last game? I guess that wasn't his greatest. Well, I mean, I'm most proud of them. They got 15 rebounds, and they weren't on missed free throws. And uh, and he guarded Shaq, who's a, you know as quality a big kid as we have in the conference. Because um, I watched that kid on tape, and you know he's he's relentless. I think all our big guys defended about as well as you know you could have hoped. But Marcus. Um, He's capable of doing this. You know, I talk, talk to him all the time. Jackson and Arell, is it Arell? Yeah. They do it every night because their energy is there every night. And that's, that's a gift. You know, that's a skill. Um, I just hope that he keeps learning and building on games like this. Were you close to putting Yannick Morera in at any time? He was a little bit physical and fast. And he, uh, he really didn't have a lot of contact. And then I was thinking, I thought about it just before the half. But then I said, no, we don't play till Thursday. You know, Biggs weren't in foul trouble. I didn't think he was real confident with it. You know, we got a great trainer. And so we got, you know, we'll take off tomorrow. <coughs> kind of a big game going on tomorrow. So we'll take that off and we'll see how he does Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You mentioned the win today and the win over UConn. Is one of them more significant to you in terms of the growth of the program? Well, the, I, we beat two teams that I love the coaches have great respect for. Um, yeah, I think this was a little more significant because um, we're coming off a loss, real disappointing. We had a disappointing couple of days. I don't think we were pleasant as coaches. Um, and to see them respond like that, you know, I've been texting Sterling and Ben and Keith, you know, all night last night about not worrying about making mistakes, just playing, because don't try to be perfect. And, you know, when you see those things happen in a, in a big game, that was pretty darn good. Anything else? No, one more? You mentioned those three. Sterling, Keith, and Ben. They gave you 31 points, nine rebounds. Are they still freshmen in your eyes? No, none of, none of these kids really are freshmen. You know, when you consider all the AAU games they play and, you know, the exposure they get. But again, um, you know, Keith, I, I look at Keith and Sterling and Ben. They could have gone some places and they're playing 25, 30 minutes a game. And uh, my thing is, no, play quality minutes against great teams, and then your growth will be much better. I don't, I don't look at them as freshmen, and, but I'm going to go look at the tape, and I said, what kind of shot did he take? No, those guys made up. <coughs> those kids coming here, our transfers coming here, Yannick coming here. That's why we have this kind of environment. Can you share what you're talking to the official about at the end? About who? At the end of the game, you're talking to the official. Oh, I was I was a little mad that you know you got walk-ons come in at the end of the game, and I thought Dixon was bumping them and bumping them and trip tripped them, and I just felt bad. But uh, you know, those three officials, I mean, come on, they're they're as good as they get. And they, he thought I was, you know, getting on him and embarrassing him. That was the last thing. I have too much respect for these guys and what they do. All right, thank you. I still want to give them two free throws. <laughs>